is today I'm going to a pumpkin patch. I like to go to a pumpkin patch every single year. I feel like it just gets you in the Halloween spirit and I don't know why I'm excited. I'm not going to buy any pumpkins. I'm just going to go over there, look at the pumpkins, take some photos and probably leave. Um, I'm meeting up with Brittany and we actually did this last year so I think it's become a yearly tradition for us. I think we're going to the same exact pumpkin patch as well. It's like really cute. It's like a really small pumpkin patch. I think it's like like family owned behind someone's house. Essentially, it's really cute. Um, so if you guys want to go, I'm going to go out to eat after, which is nice because I haven't eaten yet and I'm really hungry. I don't know what I want to wear. I really thought about this. I honestly, if I could choose, I would stay in bed all day today. But we are not. We are going to get up get ready also how is halloween literally so soon i like october is almost over and i need to figure out what i'm gonna wear for halloween i don't know what my halloween costume is gonna be let me know what you guys are gonna be for halloween let me know maybe i'll get some ideas i really have no idea what i want to do i'm like running out of time because <laughs> i feel like if i wait any longer i'm not gonna have a costume in time and that is going to be a problem now for an outfit i feel like i need to do like a cozy fall type of vibe i don't know i kind of want to do like a dress and like boots or something i feel like that's like fall vibes maybe my hair is gonna go up i don't know i need to figure it out i have 10 minutes to figure it out too so i need to get it together are my orange pumpkins then we have some gray ones i don't know if that's well some squashies <laughs> and oh my gosh i have the most insane creation i grew it myself what is it i don't know a cucumber that is it. <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> oh it's a squash fish patch and then we just ate at this restaurant called Gardenia so which is in Los Gatos and it's so pretty it's literally like Tea a house vibes. yeah it's so cutely decorated I want to show you guys our outfits Wild Rita period Wild Rita. yeah thrifted cute those are thrifted yeah these mm -hmm. are thr or they're like from Poshmark okay cute Amazon Amazon it's in my shopping cart <laughs> it is <laughs> so cute. Yep. And your what little else? Oh, this is from Goriana. Goriana. Okay. Goriana. Okay. And then a market. Cute. Oh my gosh, we love it. It's okay. Like <laughs> Here's my code. <laughs> from Shop Cider. This is from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Don't know. One or the other. This is from Princess Polly. Princess Bob. Bobby. Princess Polly. My Glinda purse and the Glinda. wild oh, rainbow. So <laughs> headband? Oh, headband is Marshalls, I think. Cute. Well, matches your your cardigan. I know. Like exactly. They're kind of lucky. So Anyways, bye. bye. this channel for a long time and you guys know how I eventually want to be able to move out and get my own place and that is obviously still the goal um it is just you know it's really expensive living out here in the bay area so that's why it's just kind of taken a while in preparation for the day that I move out I have been collecting things that I want to bring to my new home um just because I 
don't want to spend a ton of money all at once moving into your own place is very expensive i'm always looking at furniture and just things that i know i'm gonna want you know things like a couch a bed carpets um nightstands chairs a kitchen table like so many like big appliances tvs all of those things can be very expensive and then on top of that all the little things that you need to pay for like bathroom stuff and kitchen stuff your cooking utensils like literally there's just so many things and i feel like every day i'm like checking my apartment checklist um and i'm always adding new things that i think of i'm like oh my gosh i will definitely need this in my new place and it's a lot of things that like you just don't really think about things like a toilet plunger like paper towels like those are things that are like essentials and that i haven't had to i haven't had to think about because i've been living at home you know and i've been so fortunate to live at home anyways throughout the course of my time living at home i have been collecting things keep them all like in a little bin kind of like in the back corner of my room I recently i've gotten a couple of new things and i honestly never really share this stuff because i just don't i don't know for the longest time i was like people are not going to want to see this because like i'm not even going to be using it anytime soon and i just want to say this now i'm not planning on moving yet i don't have an apartment like i don't have anything right now but i just kind of thought well this could help someone out i don't know i just thought it would be helpful so let me know if you guys want to see more like home decor kind of stuff and if you guys want to kind of see more of this journey as i feel like i am getting closer and closer to the big move but um it was just like we're not there yet but i thought it'd be fun to like include the items that i've been picking up recently because i feel like they're really cute and um things that you may find useful as well so let's get into it My favorite place marshall's i obviously you guys know i love 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 me some marshall's and everything is just so much cheaper to get things there like even if you go on amazon i feel like a lot of the things are even more expensive the only thing about marshall's and like home goods is that you have to really look and um sometimes a lot of people just don't like looking and i feel that like it is it kind of feels like you're thrifting a lot of the times it's just so much to go through but sometimes it's like the fun part of it i don't know i find some joy in it though i don't have my place and i don't know what it's gonna look like know that i want to go for a gold theme i love gold hardware i prefer it over silver and so when i was at marshall's and i just saw so much gold in the kitchen aisle i was like i just have to get it now because i feel like there isn't ever that much gold whenever i come first thing that i have are these like whisks they have gold handles which i love and then the bottom is just like regular silver you get two of them a smaller one and a bigger one so i picked this up it's just kind of like random wasn't on my list of things that i needed Got these like little clips for like bags or you know like chip bags and like things that are in bag packaging um so i found the gold ones and so i thought the gold ones were cute and okay this is also not really on my list but i found like, oil and vinegar holders and i thought they were so cute it's like a ribbed kind of um material ribbed glass i don't know it's gold hardware and then it comes with like this little gold holder um i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep the holder i mean both of these were only 6.99 i feel like that's so good if this would be cuter than the bottles that the olive oil come in and i feel like for seven dollars for both that's like a really good price but we have these like butter spreaders i guess uh, i mean you can use it for butter jam it says soft cheeses and more i really liked like the wooden handles i thought that was so cute i also got these um like this five piece set just like a bunch of like utensils for cooking kind of like a rubbery like silicone type of type of material and this is like metal they also had a pink set and i was so tempted to do pink but i think i just want to stick to like the neutrals this was the last one that was in white so i was like i have to get it honestly when i saw first which made me want to hunt down the rest of these things it's a full like utensil set um and they're all gold and i thought they were so pretty i mean it's like should i have gotten more because each one there's only four of each one which i feel like is fine but maybe i needed to get another set i don't know i'm just a girl and i'm new at this okay it comes with a little tray to like keep it organized which i think is so nice so i got these two measuring cups for like baking and stuff like cooking i don't know i don't cook i don't bake i don't do anything so i mean i feel like this will be good and these have like wooden handles and then these are just like the regular ones um i 
Did I just buy like the same exact thing? Okay, now that I'm looking at this, I don't think I needed this. I don't think I needed this because this is literally the same thing as these. Did this say teaspoon? Yeah, for some reason I thought these were tablespoons. So I thought this, these were going to be smaller, but now that I'm reading it, they both say teaspoon. Okay. Well, that was great. Uh, my friend Ingrid and I went to um, the Santa Rosa Mall, which I had never been before, but they had this like, like a Mexican store, essentially. Had a bunch of like different dresses and like clothing and jewelry. Bunch of really cute things. But what I really liked was some of the kitchen stuff. Like, it's so cute. And I'm so excited about these. So they had a bunch of different colors, but I obviously went with the pink and I just love the detail, the tinted detail. It's just so pretty. And it says everything was made in Mexico, which I love. I just thought this was so pretty and I feel like it's a, it's pink. You guys know I love pink, but it's not like super bright pink. It almost looks like a neutral color, which I love even more. Next thing that I got was this little, um, like salsa set. I think the detail is so pretty. I'm obsessed. So I got that and they had different colors. They had like a pastel. It was all like really pretty pastel colors. They had like green and blue. The thing that I got was this little mug. I thought this mug was just so pretty and I needed it. The one thing that I wish they had were the plates. They had plates in different colors, but they didn't have any pink ones left. They said I could try and order them so I might do that um I do have some plates that I bought I want to say like nine months ago like literally at the beginning of the year so I'm not like in need of plates but I feel like it'd be cute to have the matching plates that's pretty much everything that I purchased um recently like my future place but I did also find a new sheet set that I kind of want to put on my bed now like not today but like maybe in this vlog aren't these so cute i was like i have to get them they're like bow printed but they're gray and i feel like they look like really cute i don't know i've seen some bow printed like sheets and bedding um at marshall's but a lot of them just like are like too many bows and i like bows but i just don't like a ton of them and yes, this has a lot of bows, but I feel like there's a lot of space in between the bows that it doesn't look too, like, cluttered, I guess. So I definitely want to put these on my bed once I wash them. Um, I also really want new bedding for my bed because, I don't know, I'm kind of over the ones that I have right now. Very last home decor item. I know, it's a pretty big home decor haul. I got this towel literally one towel i was in need of a new towel um and so i got this white one and what i loved about it was that it had like lace at the bottom like it was like kind of crochet which i thought was so so pretty that was my home decor haul let me know if you guys want to see more of these like i said like i just was kind of hesitant doing it because i was like there's no point in me showing you all the things i'm like collecting for a future place if like i don't even have the place and you can't even see me using them but, like, I know I'm going to use them eventually. It's just not right now. Um, so, yeah. Let me know if you guys want to see because I have been collecting a lot of things. Like I said, I have plates. I have a lot of bathroom things. Like, I have an entire bathroom set. Um, like, things that I found at Target, Marshalls, just, like, a bunch of random stuff. So, let me know if you guys want to see more because I definitely will. I like, can't wait until I get to be in my like home decor era and obviously like when I do get my own place like I will bring you guys along for the journey and like show you guys everything and do apartment hunting and all of that stuff so I feel like that's gonna be so fun. I talked to my friend about this the other day and um I think for the longest time I was just like so upset that I just you know I'm like in my later 20s and I don't have my own place and like all these things and I was like oh my gosh like I just want to move out already and I want to be able to do whatever I want and you know just have my own space that's not just a bedroom which is basically what I've been living in is like everything is just like in this one room I used to like complain about it a lot like I was just honestly like really sad about it for the longest time but honestly I feel like this year I've just been so 
thankful because I have given the time to like reflect and really be like just like change my perspective a little bit and just be more grateful for the fact that I have my own bedroom um I I don't know if I've mentioned this before but I didn't have my own bedroom like my own full bedroom until I was I think right before the pandemic so I want to say like 2018 was when I first got my own bedroom so like I haven't had my own bedroom like literally my entire life the fact that I even have my own bedroom now is like the coolest thing ever to me and I just like I'm so upset with my like past self for being so ungrateful for like having my own room and like wanting to just move out so bad one situation is different I'm just talking about my personal experience but yeah I just like this entire year I've just been like so grateful like dude I get to like live in a bedroom and I can put my stuff wherever I want I can decorate it however I want I can you know buy whatever I want and I don't know like I can display my shelves and collect my like favorite things and I just have been so thankful this year I mean I'm not like in any rush like if it doesn't work out soon it's not like the end of the world for me like I am truly so blessed to just have a room um and like a roof over my head like I don't know I'm just feeling very grateful lately for the life that I have because I have a really good one Solvang goes three hours to get here, but we went to the little Solvang bakery and this is what we've got. What'd you get? Uh, their most popular Danish treat. Treat. Perfect. <laughs> and I got an apple like strudel, strudel thing. I've never had a strudel in my life. And then what's this? And then this is just a cafe latte. Yes. yes. And look at the cute little cup. Very there pink. He is. Oh, and we also got. Oh. A big old. Whoa. Got this uh, Solvang Bakery Ooh. apple cinnamon. As for me. <laughs> and and, and, and mm. we also have delicious. Oh, honey. Yes. Lavender honey. Lavender honey. Oh, that's so cute with the so, little spoon yes. and the little bee. Mm -hmm. Yes, so perfect. Right? Perfect. Okay, taste test, taste test. Oh. Well, you're fine. weekend I went to Solvang with my family which you guys saw. You saw it on Instagram and if you guys are on this side of Instagram but I always just get like new towns, different things that you can see in California. I'm sure they do it for other states as well. Me and my aunt both saw the Instagram one and we were like okay we have to go and she was like we can just go this weekend it's really fun um mini road trip it's about three hours three or four hours away from us it was a long drive and we probably should have left earlier everything there closed at five and so by the time we got there which was like around three we only had about like two hours to really do everything enough time but the little bakery was so cute and i want to go back because i just love that it's like pink and the bake the baked goods were actually really good too that was like super fun <laughs> and it was like fun i don't know to like do like a family thing honestly it's starting to feel like winter you guys i am so cold I had like a heat wave and it was like so hot like literally two weeks ago 
or even like last week now i'm freezing when i wake up in the morning and like i can't get out of bed actually it was so funny i met a follower while i was there and it's just like such a random place to meet someone i feel like i usually meet you guys like at disneyland um or just like at disney things and so whenever i meet you guys like in random places it's always like oh my gosh hey <laughs> anyways i uh, just finished getting ready because i'm gonna go and get my nails done um my nails are not doing well um <laughs> i've had these since i think my disney trip which was like three or four weeks ago now i need to get them done i'm not sure what i want to do because these are going to be my birthday nails i'm going to do something birthday -y. are they going to be pink most likely, I don't know, we'll see what we come up with. One thing about having a birthday so close to Halloween is that when you get your nails done, you have to decide. Like, I don't, if you wanna do birthday nails or Halloween nails, and I don't think I've ever had Halloween nails on Halloween because I always choose my birthday. It's just a priority, but I guess like, if you have your birthday close to like a holiday, like say you have Valentine's Day, I feel like Valentine's Day is a cute holiday to have your birthday next to. But like Christmas, like do you do Christmas nails or do you do birthday nails? It's like really tough decisions, obviously. And then after I get my nails done, I'm gonna be meeting up with Ray. We're gonna shoot some photos. Um, I think I'm gonna wear these like pink sweats. So I'm gonna put them on. Um, and then after that, there is a thrift store nearby. So I'm gonna try and go to the thrift store because so many things that i need to get i'm gonna show you guys my outfit that i decided on the way i spent so much time looking for this shirt is crazy i could not find it it was literally on my clothing rack but it's fine this shirt is from asos and asos has such cute baby tees so if you like baby tees which is like little like minimal kind of designs they have so many um i have this one here's the other one that I have it's like a little Tinkerbell one I wore it the other day so cute and then there's another one currently on the site which I need to get it's a little mini in a little cowboy outfit cowgirl outfit she's so freaking cute with her pink cowgirl boots I need that one but anyways I have this one from ASOS which I love and it actually has like a good real bow um here are the jewelry that I have is from en route this one has a gift and then this one is wild arena my mickey hoops that i got on my last disney trip i'm obsessed with them i got them at world of disney so if you're going to disneyland you need to get these earrings because they're so cute i love the little bow so much i needed to get these pants which are from boohoo and they have bows literally all the way down the leg you guys they're so cute and they're so comfortable. I'm kind of cold right now, so I wanted a little sweater. I wish that it was white to match this. I don't know, this colors might bother me, but this is from Marshalls. No, this is from TJ Maxx. I'm using this Stony Clover bag. I put both of these plushies on here. This is like a jelly cat, and then this is my Marie one because I couldn't decide which one I wanted. I was thinking Marie because of the Marie shirt, but then I also thought this because it's cute so that is the outfit and for shoes right now i'm wearing uggs but the color of my uggs is like two it's like chestnut so it's like really like a darker brown and it just doesn't match like i wish i had a lighter shade of uggs i feel like that would have been perfect so i think i'm gonna wear my adidas sambas because that's all i need <gasps> oh i should add a little bow in my hair okay i need to go i'm probably gonna add a little pink bow okay bye done and we did these little hearts honestly i kind of wish they're a little bit smaller but I like the little rhinestones i think this one's cuter than the other one look at that one boom so cute and then oh ray's here she's back but we came to this place called the blooms giving and it's so cute it's my first time going and they put little like little tiny flowers flowers on the your cup drink. is so sweet i know I got a little passion fruit iced tea. It's actually pretty good. What'd you get? What did I get? I got lavender mint tea. Mm. Is it good? I don't know. 
It's too hot. I'm gonna oh, really? <laughs> I had a matcha, but I had matcha this morning, so I'm like, maybe I should not have another one. <laughs> but it sounded so good. I have like a bunch of plants on the inside, and there's people like working in there. And we always say we're gonna work from coffee shops, and they're like, we never do. Oh, this would be but, a good one. Right? Because they have Just like the, the open tables. So. I don't know, we'll see. Ended up like just kind of exploring and taking photos in Redwood City. Um, I want to show you guys a better look at my nails. I think they are so. Oh, they're kind of dirty. Um, I think they're so cute. And I, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I have like, I call it like a group chat. It's a broadcast channel. And in the group chat, I showed you guys like my nail inspo. And some of you guys were commenting that it reminds you of Sabrina Carpenter. And I was like, that would be, this is so perfect for a Sabrina Carpenter concert. So if you need a nail inspo for the Sabrina Carpenter concert, like this is so cute. Or if you're gonna be Sabrina Carpenter for Halloween, like I feel like this is just like the cutest. I kind of think this heart looks better than the other one, but overall it's so cute and you can do like different colors. Um, I think it's such a good Sabrina Carpenter nail. I don't know, I'm obsessed. I did go to the thrift store, but I found nothing. I feel like the thrift store is just like one of those things where one, you have to be in the mood to thrift okay like you need to be like i'm ready to go through all of these racks and check for everything and i wasn't a thousand percent in that mood i was just kind of like i'm gonna go in go to the sections where the items should be and if i don't see it then i'm leaving and so i went in i honestly didn't find much um i did find like one top that was kind of like 80s looking but it was way too big i just didn't have it in my size so i kind of wanted to pull out the camera and chat a little bit because i've just been kind of in a rut i feel like this happens literally every single like fall slash winter i just kind of get like unmotivated i don't want to do anything i don't want to leave my bed i'm just like kind of like dragging myself out of bed um i think one it's just so cold like now i'm like freezing okay i'm literally in sweatpants a sweatshirt and socks and i'm still really cold and um i had my heater on a little bit ago but i turned it off so that way you guys could hear me i just feel like i get i go through this like kind of like a funk every single year and it is so hard to like get motivated i guess and to like force myself to do things i've been busy okay i've been going out a lot i feel like my social life lately has just been through the roof i've been doing so many fun events you know for the birthday month and it's been so much fun but like work wise i don't want to do anything like i truly just don't want to do anything and i feel like i just thrive so much in the spring and the summertime and then when fall and winter come around i'm just like I just, I don't want to do anything. I'm like trying to get out of it. Um, I feel like I've felt this way for the past couple of weeks. I mentioned that I feel like I've been procrastinating a lot and I've been doing it so bad lately. Like I've been procrastinating so bad, you guys. Like I don't get anything done. And another thing is I'm like actually addicted to my phone. And I think it is now becoming a problem because I'm like my free days where I'm literally not doing anything. I'm not leaving my house. I don't have work. I don't have anything. I will be on my phone all day, like literally all day. And I'm like, what did I even do today? Like literally what I do, I was on my phone all day. I just scrolled for hours and hours and looked at what? Like literally what did I look at? I don't know. And so I am, I need to break that habit. There's just so many things I need to do. <laughs> I need to get my life together is what I'm trying to say. I need to break that habit. I need to get off of my phone. I need to go to the gym. I haven't been to the gym in I don't know how long. I feel like when I was going to the gym, I was a little bit more motivated. I felt like I was doing more throughout the day and I was like getting stuff done and I wasn't just rotting in bed, scrolling on my phone all day. And you know what? I love a good rot and scroll moment, but there's just been too many lately and I just... I need to get it together, you guys. What I'm gonna do right now is I am going to clean this room first of all, because like I said, all I do is I rot and I scroll and I do nothing. I need to organize my desk because it is a mess. I need to make a list of things, a to-do list, 
and I was so good about this over the summer and the spring like I was so good about making my list and getting stuff done and I just haven't done anything like I just I don't know what I'm doing also this is off topic but I just need to show you how devastating this was for me I broke my Halloween mug you guys from Marshall's it's so sad I literally was so sad I was trying to move something so I could film and my like skeleton thing fell on it and it is now broken I have like the bigger pieces so I'm like maybe I can try and glue it but I mean I'm actually so sad about this because can you break something from Marshall's who knows if I'm ever gonna see this at Marshall's again like truly I probably never will I'm actually so sad about this mug because it was like one of my favorite Marshall's finds. My Stony Clover Hello Kitty stuff came in. You guys remember I was supposed to go to the event, but way too much stuff happened that day that I <laughs> didn't get to go. But luckily I was able to order some items. So I did order two pieces and then I pre-ordered a third which isn't here yet because on pre-order. I think it's supposed to be here next week, actually. I'll show you the pieces that came in because they're so cute and I, you know, after going to Universal, I'm Hello Kitty era has come back. First thing that I got, and this was like my one item that I felt like if it sold out, I was gonna be so sad. And I'm so happy that I got it. I think it is still available on pre-order though. So if you wanna get it, I think it's the cutest item in the entire collection. And I also don't have anything in this style. So this is a pochette. Not a purse though. It's just like a pochette pouch, I guess. And it is so cute. This is like leather and the hearts are also leather. And then if you look at her little zipper, it's Hello Kitty. And the inside I think is just plain white. Yeah, there's nothing on the inside, but I just think this is such a cute pouch. And then I got the matching fanny pack. Here is the fanny pack and wouldn't have this been so perfect for my trip to Universal. How cute with the ears that I bought. This is so cute. So now I need to go. Oh, there's like a hair on it. Um, Now I need to go to Universal again. So that way I can wear my little Hello Kitty set. I just think it's so cute. It has a pink strap. I just think it's perfect in every single way. So whenever the small comes in, I'll show you guys. But I was so, so excited about this. And I'm really happy that I got it. But I feel like if you're going to get anything from the collection, it should be this item. I think this is the perfect Hello Kitty Sony Clover item ever created. It's so good. I'm also just kind of going through this phase. I don't know. I'm sure... A lot of the girlies can understand where you just like hate all the clothes that you own <laughs> that is truly what I'm going through right now um, definitely not all of it but I feel like I've held I hold on to clothes I do hoard clothes okay it is you guys know I love fashion last night I was up um, getting rid of clothing and I'm just like I need to get rid of everything like I need to get rid of things that I've had since high school why do we still have it I don't know I have issues I need to get rid of things that I've had since college like girl you're not the same person I'm not the same person I was yesterday like what do you mean like we are not keeping these items okay so I am kind of going through another shift where I'm like I want to just restart my whole wardrobe obviously i'm not gonna do that but um that's what i want to do like i just have that urge to just want to get rid of everything and start fresh but i can't so let's start with cleaning this desk because honey it is unwell she's looking crazy okay we're cleaning the desk as you can see she is not well and she never is well and i think i've accepted the fact that it's just never gonna be perfectly clean because i am a procrastinator and i get ready as quickly as i possibly can and then i'm like on the go and it is just it's just it is what it is it is who i am we have accepted it if you don't like it, I'm so sorry. At least you don't have to clean up my mess, okay? I have to clean up my mess. <laughs>
was so fast and I'm literally almost done. I hate that I procrastinate so much because if I just go and do it, it'll literally take me two seconds and I'll be okay and it's gonna be done. So if I just do it, it's the hard part. Like once I start doing things, I can get it done. My problem is getting started. <laughs> That's my issue. Recently, not re a couple weeks ago, I went to Sephora because I really wanted to pick up the Love Shack Fancy body sprays. You guys know I love the Love Shack Fancy perfumes. I have mini travel sizes. I have a full size and they came out with body sprays and I went to go smell them all and my favorite scent was the was this one which is sugar blush and the yellow one which smells like hawaii in a bottle i feel like i am on a tropical island when i was smelling that and i didn't pick that one up i decided i was just gonna get one but i'm eventually getting that other one okay i just needed to tell myself no this one is very sweet so if you don't like sweet scents then like this is literally like candy in a bottle it's called sugar blush for a reason it's literally all sugar and first of all it's pink so we do love that let me show you the packaging it's so so pretty and then the top has a little bow it's so cute and i saw online like on sephora.com they have um, maybe on Love Shack Fancy website as well. I didn't check, but they also have mini sizes, which, like travel sizes, which I feel like I also want, or like travel sizes because I love a mini. But anyways, I picked this up, and when I picked this up, they also gave me my birthday gift. This is the birthday gift that I picked out. It's the Kosas birthday set. It comes with a brow gel and a lip oil gloss. I just love how cute they are. They're so small. So let's try the gloss. Ooh. Yeah, I love the color. I feel like it's such a good, like, nude for my lips. This is the brow gel. It's so small. I'm going to put this, like, in my travel stuff because it's so small. I always love getting, like, my little birthday freebies. Let me know um, where you guys get your freebies from for your birthday. One of my favorite freebies that exist is Nothing Bun Cakes. They do, like, little mini cakes essentially and you guys know i don't really like dessert but what i like about those they don't have too much like frosting i feel like that's the biggest thing that i don't like about dessert is like all the frosting and like the creamy stuff that's on it i just like the bread i feel like nothing but cakes is pretty much like all bread so i really love getting my free one i need to figure out where else i can get a birthday gift from because I want to get my birthday gifts. I mean, the Sephora one is also really fun. Um, I feel like a lot of other websites just give me, like, discounts. Like, Aerie gave me, like, $5 off. I don't know if I'm going to use it. No, I get those, which is fun. But, yeah, I love that. Anyways, I'm going to keep cleaning my mess. clean thing that is really disgusting are my makeup brushes so we need to clean these let me know how often you guys clean your makeup brushes i feel like you're supposed to do it like once a week i definitely don't do that and i probably should now that i think about it i don't even know if i have any more makeup brush cleaner of that for me another thing i need to clear out is this drawer i have a drawer full of like products like so many hair products, sunscreen, just like random hair oils just everywhere. And I'm like, I have not gone through this drawer in so long. <laughs> we need to like throw things away. Um, but that's a task for a different day because I just want to clean my brushes and go. I only have this cleanser, which by the way, this is a um, Verse cleanser, which I love Verse cleanser. And they actually gave me a code. It's Cassie's Castle if you guys want to save. But this is like the makeup remover that I use. I purchased this over and over and over and over again. I have mini sizes. You guys have seen me go to Target and get the minis. I love this makeup remover. I'm so happy they gave me a coat. So if you guys want to use it, um, Cassie's Castle, maybe I'll have a link below. I don't know. I have this micellar water, which is another makeup remover that I really like, actually. Oh my gosh. See if I can clean my, my brushes with it. I don't know if that's a thing. I'm gonna try it. I feel like you should be able to because it's 
Just gonna kind of drench the, I don't know if that did anything actually. Yeah, I think we're just gonna use a bar of soap and make it easier. Another Dove soap that I can use. Oh, I can definitely see the makeup coming off actually, Never mind. to end today's vlog here i pretty much cleaned all my brushes i love you guys so much make sure you guys like and subscribe we have a fun trip coming next week so i'm excited to bring you guys along for that and i will see you guys in the next vlog bye guys